Okay, in this screencast we're going to see how to register with the Alfresco API. So the first thing you do is you click on the register uh, register a developer link at developer.alfresco.com and the form will pop up. You give it your first name and last name and an email address. It doesn't matter whether you what kind of email address you provide here as long as it's your email address and give it a password and then uh, study the terms and conditions very closely accept the terms and conditions and click next step now you'll give the application a name it doesn't really matter what the name is this name just helps you keep uh, track of the different applications that you register under your account pick a platform again it doesn't matter this just helps us uh, sort of figure out where our developer community is or what the tools are that they're using Give it a description and pick an API. Right now, the only choice in that dropdown will be the Alfresco public API. Each API can have a different set of terms and conditions, so accept those, then click register now. Now what will happen is that um, a request will go to Alfresco and uh, you'll need to wait for your application to become approved and that should not take very long at all. You'll get an email that says that you've been approved and when you get that email you just click the link. The link will take you to the developer portal where you can log in using the email address that you registered and the password that you provided. So let me do that. Click login and now we're taken to the uh, to the dashboard. So the dashboard is where uh, you can see kind of the status of the system and uh, any messages that you need to uh, have about what's going on with the Alfresco system. And if you click on applications, you'll see a list of the applications that you've registered, including your API key. And um, with the key thing here is to click edit because that will bring up the details of your app. So you can change the application name or whatever. Um, initially you will be on the development plan and when you're ready to go to production you can change to the production plan here but the important thing for our needs right now is this off tab that's where you will find the API key and the secret and before I grab those I need to be sure to provide a callback URL this will be used by the um, uh, when we do the OAuth 2 authentication Alfresco will be hitting this callback URL with a code that your app will need to um, to grab. So it's important that this be a real uh, URL. So let's see, let's grab the API key and I'll just stick that into a uh, text editor for safekeeping. And then we will grab the secret and I'll put that in the same kind of place. Where you put it in your application is going to depend on how you've written your application and what uh, OAuth library you are using, if any. Now we'll go ahead and um, save these changes and now we're ready to actually make use of our API key and secret from our application. So that's really all there is to it. It just takes a few minutes to become a registered developer.